Hello everyone. Welcome to 7. Rare Daytime Sextanted Meteor Shower. Daytime sextantids are rare because of the fact that, the radiant lies close to the sun and these meteors are only visible during the last couple of hours before dawn. According to the American Meteor Society, the daytime sextantids meteor shower, part of the Phaethon Geminid stream complex, is closely related to the Geminids, currently the strongest meteor shower visible at the Earth. The daytime sextantids share a similar orbit to asteroid 2005 UD, but the nature of the association remains unclear. From optical data we find that DSX meteors ablate similarly to Geminids, suggesting that they are also high density and consistent with a common origin. From radar data we have isolated 19007 DSX orbits through application of a novel convex hull approach to determine stream membership. We find at the peak the mean semi-major axis is near 10, eccentricity is 0.86 and that both decrease as a function of solar longitude. The inclination averages 25 degrees at the peak but increases over time. Noticeable DSX activity extends from solar longitude 173, 196 degrees with a flux plateau between 186 and 189 degrees. Meteor showers arise when the Earth passes through streams of debris left behind in the wake of comets and asteroids. Over time, the pieces of grit-like debris in these streams distribute themselves along the length of the parent object's orbit around the solar system. The Geminid branch of the complex gives one of the best meteor showers of the year, but the DSX branch is more challenging to observe. Its meteors fly out of the Sextant's constellation, which is very near the Sun at this point of the year. The daytime Sextanted meteor shower will be active from September 9th to October 9th, producing its peak rate of meteors around September 28th. Over this period, there will be a chance of seeing daytime Sextanted meteors whenever the shower's radiant point, in the constellation Sextans, is above the horizon. With the number of visible meteors increasing the higher the radiant point is in the sky. The mass of the DSX stream is estimated to be 1016 g, the same order as 2005 UD, suggesting the stream is too massive to have been created by recent meteoroid production from 2005 UD. We propose that the DSX and 2005 UD were created in the same breakup event that created 3200 Phaeton. The Moon, in Aquarius, will be only one day away from full phase at the shower's peak, presenting significant interference throughout the night. Thank you.